Now we're going to assemble the x-axis of your x-carve. We'll be using self-tapping screws to attach two pieces of maker slide to one of the motor mount plates. Doesn't matter which plate. These screws are much easier to put in if you use a little tapping fluid. You'll see here the two holes that I'm going to tap. And you can see the orientation of the maker slide. You want the V-rails to point out. When you're starting these screws, make sure to apply continuous pressure into the hole that you will be tapping. You want those first few threads to grab really nicely. See here, I'm going slowly just to make sure that those threads are cut cleanly at the very start. You also want to keep the screw parallel to the hole that you're tapping the entire time so that it does not go in crooked. Go slow and take your time with this step. When the screw head finally gets to the motor plate, there's no reason to get it very tight at this moment. It'll be easier to line up the second hole if you leave it a little loose. Line the second hole up with the Y motor mount plate. Use tapping fluid if you've got it. And then again, make sure to apply pressure down the hole that you'll be tapping. Now we're going to put the second piece of maker slide onto this Y motor mount plate. You'll notice that the V rails for this maker slide point away from the motor or to the left as it's shown on this screen. With these self tapping screws, we're going to use washers. And that's because we're putting these screws through a slot. This will allow us to adjust the distance between the two pieces of maker slide later. I'm going slowly here to make sure that the first few threads are cut cleanly. You can leave this screw a little loose so that you can line up the last screw to tap into this second piece of maker slide. If you're having trouble tapping the maker slide with these screws at this point and you haven't used any cutting fluid, try some vegetable oil from your kitchen or anything of the sort. WD-40 works very well too. Now we're going to slide the X carriage onto the X axis that we just built. Here's a good shot of the rails of the maker slide facing away from each other. You can see that I put the insertion nuts on the piece of maker slide that corresponds to the X axis motor. And here I'm gently guiding the maker slide onto the V wheels. No reason to force it at this point. If it doesn't slide easily, check the eccentric nuts on the X carriage and make sure that the bolt is facing down. This gives you the most clearance between the V wheels. And now we'll just repeat the same procedure that we used on the other Y motor mount plate to complete the gantry. Be sure you put the washer on the self-tapping screw for the back piece of maker slide. 